one thing that I've talked about on my channel a bit is that Cosmic is in a very different position than something like both Gnome and KDE were when they started, because they both started in the very early days of Linux. Like it, I think it both started mid to late nineties. There were desktop, uh, like there was CDE back then. Like desktops existed, but what we know about designing desktop environments today is very different than what we knew back then. So Cosmic is in this position where it doesn't have to repeat those same mistakes that those desktops had made 20, 30 years ago. It can learn from those and design a desktop that is, you know, already addressing those use cases for its users today. Yeah, I think there's uh, there's something to not um, having legacy legacy baggage <laughs> uh, that does you know help help a project. I don't know how much you know it deters. I know there are some strange bugs come about because of legacy things. I, I saw the one about the launcher or the app, app oh, launcher. Yeah. <laughs> My <Yeah>. gosh, <laughs> uh, bizarre. But uh, or they have the dot desktop file, right? For, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so how they're done uh, with shortcuts or something along those lines. Uh, so I don't know how much it holds those projects back because they also seem to really move at a, a, a you know a good pace and um, be able to uh, you know to make progress. Um, maybe we're so close to Wayland just being uh, you know the de facto standard now that that there's. Um, there's a lot of cruft um, and old decisions that can kind of be you know, uh, taken out. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it, it is a, it is definitely a benefit, and it's a lot. Of, some of ours is just lucky timing between between uh, Wayland and where it where it was, and where Nvidia um, got with their drivers. Uh, it was those are things that were kind of outside of our control in a lot of ways, but we um, but. We just had lucky timing that we could build a new desktop, and our our customers were going to sacrifice. Like Pop twenty two hundred four is on X Wayland for a reason, mm. or sorry, on X eleven yeah. for a reason, and that's um that's just twenty twenty two. We couldn't go to to, uh, to Wayland in twenty twenty two. Our half of our half of the computers we ship wouldn't work. Um, that's not the case. Just two years later, so um, some things were just luck. Right now with Whalen, what is still sort of out of your control or obviously, you know, you have Victoria getting involved in upstream Whalen discussion, so it's not entirely out of your control, but what is something in Whalen right now that is holding Cosmic back that you guys want to do? It's just a matter of getting that discussion resolved upstream. Gosh, um... I know that there are one or two that we would like to the protocols we'd like to see merge. I just don't remember the details, but um, yeah, yeah, I can't recall. Uh, but I don't think that we feel like they're too much of a. Uh, uh, I think they're even those that that aren't merged yet are close enough that we feel like we could still um, implement them and right. um, and and be okay if some changes need to if we need to make some changes mm -hmm. um, because the final you know, the final merge is a bit different. So um, I don't think we're in a very, I think we're in a pretty good place. So I think Waylon, I know that there's been, you know, efforts with, with, um, to kind of change the uh, processes around. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Um, <laughs> yeah, Valve fans uh, coming in like, no, this is, we're, we're going to fix this now. Enjoy. Um, I think faster is better. Um, and, uh, and I think, uh, I think maybe, Whacking the whacking the hornet's nests a little bit, uh, you know, to, to try to make some change might create some good decisions or good discussions um, that you know result in you know better better processes for everyone. I, what can happen in a project, is, and it's, it's really easy to kind of get stuck in your in your in the path that has worked before, mm -hmm. and it's hard to get outside of that and just right. and think should we should we just rethink what we're doing in, in entirely because it's um, it's just really easy to get into a into a process rut. Uh, it happens in companies like it happens in System seventy six, and and we have to really force ourselves to think outside of what we've been used to doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I don't. I think that that's just pretty standard for any project. Um, and sometimes you just need something from the outside to you know, shake things up a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely, uh, definitely, definitely shake things up. Um, 
that I, I I think overall the people involved in Wayland did initially there was a lot of people who were like you know very skeptical about it, but it seems like as it's shaken out over the past couple of days, people have appreciated the change because it seems like a lot of people were aware of the issue and acknowledged the issue, but no one was saying the issue. Like, right? Like, I, I've I've mentioned to myself, I'm not involved in Wayland Protocol discussion, so it's like, there's less value for someone who is outside of that, but it seems like everybody basically agreed with my position that there is a problem here, it needs to be addressed, but nobody wanted to step up to, I guess, take the heat that was going to come from the people who didn't think there would need to be something to address there. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is it called? Frog protocols. Yeah. Frog, that was the that was the first one, and then following that, there is um, four separate merge three three or four separate merge requests by Mike Blumenkrantz, also a contractor at Valve, uh, basically restructuring a lot of governance stuff as well. So there's the combination of those two. Frog started it, and then it led into those discussions as well. Right. I think I have yeah. a combination of like three hundred comments right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's important to uh, you know, just assume good faith in all these things, and and I I can understand how difficult it is to um, uh, to just see yourself from the outside. Sure, yeah. I I can have, you know fully appreciate it. We have processes at Sim seventy six that we've been doing for a long time. That um, uh, well. One example is imaging. So we image, so we build what we call a golden image, and that image is used um, to uh, put the operating system on hardware. Uh, we are moving to a new ERP system, and the first instinct was to completely reproduce the process that we had we had before. So that uh, so that meant um, that meant the imaging system did a lot of things like um, took in the serial number, took in the tracking number, uh, moved that uh, from one place to another, did you know did all these things. And so there was engineering time and effort put into uh, you know reproducing the experience that or what we've done before. Mm -hmm. Well, our imaging systems were just as complex and didn't work as well, and and we couldn't do ex exactly what they want to do because the ERP system is different. Um, so after we all just finally took a step back we you know we said okay what the right thing to do is for the imaging system just to be an imaging system mm -hmm. it shouldn't do any of this other stuff um, let's make the ARP do these things that it uh, that the imaging system had done before mm -hmm. so the serial number can be we can change some processes on the line and uh, instead of all of our custom software and maintaining that forever we can just we're paying for this ERP system mm -hmm. let's have it do it so that there's my Wayland protocols um, sympathy. <laughs> if you're, you've been part of a process for a long time, it's just the most natural thing to continue that process. Uh, but it's it's good and helpful and healthy to have someone on the outside know, say, no, this is nuts. I think about this for um, Ubuntu's SRU process sometimes. Like this, does this process, this process has been around for 20 years. Is this, <laughs> is this really the right process for um, updates to, shipping software uh, maybe this is, it should be something different because there are these other benefits uh, but it just means you know saying is, and i think there have been some changes recently with that too but it's it's hard to uh you know to get to uh, uh you know to shake yourself out of the rut <laughs>